Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away and happy Thursday. Today I'm going to be doing the next six stages of the Diagos Leader Collectibles release of Build the International Space Station. I am going back slowly into things this week, that's why I'm trying to pick some of the easier builds to do for... Uh, the rest of the days here if you remember in the marathon uh, build that we did last time we did this we were creating this section here which is now looking uh, really good i actually uh, fixed this into place now so uh, that's looking good and i'm guessing we're going to be extending on to that today this isn't available anymore unfortunately uh, so if you are looking to get this uh, you're a bit out of luck unfortunately so uh, we won't be able to do that but uh, i am enjoying this i think this takes us up to 104 i think there's only one more pack to go I don't know how many are in this pack, I have to say. That makes it 110. Is there 110? I'm sure we're going to find that out, but let's find that out together. Without further ado, let's get cracky. Okay, so stage 99. Here's the instructions. And we have now got uh, this section here that we're put, putting together. Now, obviously, we've done quite a few of these already. As you can see, we've done one here. We've done one here. We've done one here. <laughs> and we've done one here. So I guess I'm uh, adding on to one of the ones we've already done, putting this into place. So uh, are we actually mounting this as well? So that's looking like that. So let's get this open. Not a lot in this pack. Plenty of screws, though. and. Obviously, we've got our old favourite, the R screw here. And quite simply, all I'm going to do first is I'm going to be putting this section here into this top section. I'm just going to rotate it round because it does fit a certain way. It will only let you put it in one way, to be honest with you, because the way the indent is in this, and I'll tighten this up with an R screw. This is going to be going onto the back of this one that we created in the last pack. So having it this way round, Piecing everything together here. There is some lugs just to line up. I can push them together. So that's how that's looking. I've got two holes here, and they're going to be for some more of these AS5 screws. <laughs> I can't keep calling them R screws. How many times am I allowed to say that word before YouTube think, hang on, is he building models or just cursing profanity? <laughs> There we go, that's in place. Now I've got, I don't know what half these parts are. You know that, I know that. Uh, we'll try and figure it out together. Okay, uh, this is gonna be going onto this section here, just at the top. And once again, held in with one of these AS5 screws, just down there. So that's nice and in tight. To hide that screw, I've got a cap to put over this. And that just pushes it in there, so you can't see how I've put that in there. So bringing over what we have been creating last time. I'm going to be putting this into that section just there. And it's held in with an MS4 screw. Now I'm very much conscious in the instructions. Let me just get this screw in. I do have two sections which have actually broken off here. I've got this one at the top here, which looks like that. And I've got this one down the bottom, which goes onto this tab just here. Now, I'm not going to glue them in now, but I will do that afterwards. But I am very much aware that these two parts aren't in. Uh, I am left with this part. Not sure what we're doing with it yet, but that's all there is to do in that stage. So, we've reached the century, stage 100. Let's see what we're doing. Those things can actually be glued on afterwards. I was having to think about it, even when it's all closed up that section, because the tab is still on the outside, and I have got quite a nice surface for that to glue onto. Uh, again, we're gonna create another one of these, just like that, putting that into place. So that's how that's looking. And since you last saw this, this is just sat on my workstation. I haven't touched it. so. Uh, they must be quite brittle. Very strange, but you know, these things happen. Okay, so we're gonna be taking this section here and I've got 
quite a large section here that I'm going to be putting into place has got sort of like a keyhole pattern that's going to go over this area just there, held in with our favourite AS5 screw. Get that R screw all the way in there. Excellent. Another detail just on the top. Again, a keyhole pattern this way round, held in with an AS5 screw. And once again, if you are really clued up about the International Space Station, by all means, time code in the comments section and let me know what some of these parts are because, as I said before, I really, really haven't got a clue. <laughs> okay, this is the last part just going in here. So, there you go, that's how that's looking. And that's the end of that stage. In stage 101, here is the magazine. And we're gonna be taking this part here, some more details, putting both of these parts together. And again, we're gonna be mounting this into that center section there. Because of the way that these stick out of that center section, it's very hard to uh, not break things, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this section here, this section that we've just got, and I'm gonna be piecing both of these together. And it can only go in one way, so I'm just squeezing this to make sure that's nice and flush. Just like that. I've got a little detail here, which is gonna be going on this side. Goes in in that direction but I'm holding it from the other side with the AS5 screw. Perfect, get that all the way in there. And then I've got the mounting point here. These are what's brittle on the other one. So that fits into the hole, just like that there. And again, an AS5 screw, just from the other side. That's gonna hold that tight into place. And once again, we need to hide that screw that nice and tight. So I do have a cap to put over this section. Perfect, so that's how that's looking. We're gonna mount this now, just like we did the last one. And I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it goes on this side, just over here. Uh, let's get this in the right way. It's going in this way, just like that. It's held in with an MS4 screw. Got that here. And get that into place. And that's in nice and tight. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 102, here's the magazine. Just a few little parts in this one. I'm gonna be putting this on there. Now these parts that are going around the base, I've already done these. I'm guessing this might be a spare. Uh, because I've got this all the way around. So you won't see that. Uh, it does mean we are just doing that section just there. Yeah, I thought that was a bit strange seeing these uh, little blanker plates which go around the base. Because as I said, I have done all of those in that marathon build I did. So if I just bring over what we have created here, we've been working on just this side here. I've now got a bracket to put over both of these things here. Now it's actually just gonna go on the end, just like this, fitting on there, held in with two MS4 screws. Just through the ends here, so one here, one here. So now that's locked into place. We do have this part left over, but they're not asking us to do anything with that at this time, but that's the end of that stage. So in stage 103, here's the instructions. Uh, got some more of the rail here. Looks like, uh, are we doing the other side here? Let's have a look. We're creating another arm by the look of it, just like this. And putting another part of that rail in there. So that's looking like that. This looks a little bit of a fiddly stage. Obviously we've got one of these ends here, which 
I'm guessing it's probably going to go on the other side. But I do have to put these tiny parts here together. So let's figure this out. Now these are coming in two, so what I'm going to do is just pair each part up here so I know exactly what I've got. And basically I'm going to take these two parts here first, and this is going to go into the end just here. It's going to be held in with an AS5 screw. Because of how small this is, this is going to be extremely fiddly. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's that one in there. I then need to take one of these pieces, and this is going to go on top here, held in with an AS5 screw. I'm then going to be taking one of these pieces just here, and this is going to go on top, just like that there. Again, with an AS5 screw. Probably best to put the screw in first. And then put this in on this side. This is tiny. Okay, now I need one of these little parts here. And this now is going to go on top here. Again, AS5 screw. So that's how that's looking now. This is so fiddly. Okay, then we've got this piece here, which is going to go on top just like that. What on earth am I building here? So that's one full section, and I'm going to be bringing over what we didn't use in the last stage, looking like this. And basically this is just going to be going on here, like that there. And it's held in with an AS5 screw. And when that's in, it should look like that. That was hard. And guess what? We're going to be doing exactly the same thing for this side over here. And there you go, when that's done, it looks like that. That was crazy hard to do, but we don't actually use that at the moment now, so I can put that to one side. Bring over this section that we've been working on here, and as you know, we put the end on this one. We're gonna be doing the same on the other one over this side here. Now, when I put this into position, I just wanna double check that I can still get to these parts I need to glue, which I can. I'm holding them in with MS4 screws. And again, it's trying to find a position I can actually just lie this in without it breaking off. There we go. Very fragile now, very fragile. I've got a funny feeling when I put the uh, solar arrays into these that I'm gonna have to take this off again. I'll put them in for now though. Trying not to touch too much. Okay, that looks good. So what I mean, look, this one's just fallen off as well. This is so hard to not break anything from this. I'm gonna to have to glue that one back on. So that's three of these now that I'm gonna to have to glue back on. Uh, I do have the other part of the rail here now that I'm gonna put in though. And that's just gonna be going into this side here. Pushing that into place. And I need the MS4 screws just to screw this down. So one there, again, without without letting this touch any of the floor. The floor is lava. <laughs> so again, this should now slide along that whole thing. Which it does, as you can see. Move this arm out of the way. And back, perfect. And that is all there is to do in that stage. This has got to be a record for the amount of things I've broken off a part in one build. Last stage of this pack, stage 104. We've only got these two parts here to put together, just like that. So it's a nice way to end it, but I am going to be having to glue parts together now. Now, they look bigger than the pictures. Look at these. And this is metal. A big chunk of metal. All I'm going to be doing is taking this bracket here, and it's just going to be going over the top of this here, held in with MS four screws. And we just need two of these. And with this into place, that's all there is to do in this stage. That's all there is to do in this pack. Not quite sure what we've got to do with this, which took forever to build. Uh, but I have got to put these back into position because these have broken off. You know, looking at this, I think if I was to glue them on now, they're going to fall off again. They are very, very, very brittle. And the way you like, you can't lie these down because look, they come on here as well. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them all off and I think at the end I'm going to use some epoxy rather than super glue so I can get these on. But as you can see, I've had one break off here, one break off here, one break off here, so that's three. <sighs> what a pain. Uh, I'm hoping that's the next stage, but uh, anyway, this is what we've been working on and that is all there is to do in that stage. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.